The sad reality, brothers and sisters, is that so often even we who seek to approach the true God come to him with views and perspectives that are beneath his heavenly glory. We sin. We make an idol with our minds and with our hearts. And this is what the true God did for us who question his compassion and don't embrace his glory, his heavenliness, the true God of heaven and earth for us, for, for, for those of us who had a hard time with those realities, sent his only son by nature so that you and I could know the glory of the Father. That's what the Bible teaches. That Jesus is the only Son of God by nature and that he reveals to you and to me the glory of the Father. And he comes to us to adopt us into the family of God. And when we're adopted into God's family, we can pray to God through his Son, Jesus. And even our weak prayers, even the prayers that are still tainted with the view of God that is beneath him. And friends, so often that's the only prayer that we offer. Even those prayers are received by the Father and he delights in them because they're sanctified by Jesus, the true Son of God. We have all the reason in the world to be so confident when we approach God in prayer because we have Jesus, a great high priest, who allows us to enter into the presence of the Father, the throne room of God, through his intercession and his work on our behalf so that we can, sinful as we are, look to God and say, you are our Father. And he loves you. He has compassion on you as a father has compassion on his son. He pities his people. He knows that you're dust. He provides for you and he has every resource to do so because he is the heavenly father.